I don't know what do you do when the world is already a cruel, cruel place. It's already a cold, cold place. And, you know, you start off learning how to maneuver all that, learning how to um, form friendships and relationships with your family first. You learn all that in your formative years with your family first. And the bonds that you first form and build should be the ones that, you know, are, are forever lasting, that last a lifetime. But what I'm finding with family is that you can't you can't really depend on them you cannot really depend on them and i'm not talking about for money because i don't need nobody's money i'm not talking about anything other than just picking up the damn phone saying hey how you doing like literally y'all i am 29 weeks pregnant 29 weeks and you know if i don't reach out to my family i don't hear from my family unless somebody needs something you know i have a i have two sisters and two brothers and i never hear from one sister because there's some issues with that so you know she lives with my mom my mom never talks to me because we have a difference in um religion I am not um, in that religion anymore, so because I'm not, because I left, she really can't um, communicate with me, but she'll communicate with me when she needs something, so there's a double standard even in that, but, um, you know, and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but I'm talking about my damn siblings who have cell phones, who know my number, who know where I live. But unless I'm willing to invest the time and money into traveling, I I won't see them. You know, I have an older brother who I did see, but, you know, it was because I traveled 15, 16 hours driving down there in the, in the, in the middle of a damn winter storm, you know, to go see my people. And then I went to go see him, too. And, you know, I loved every minute of it. I, I, loved, I loved my family, don't get me wrong. But it just feels like, you know, I'm just out on a limb you know what i'm saying i mean damn can somebody come and check on me i i know i live in the midwest and everybody else is on the coast they you know they you know east coast west coast i get it and and even them they don't see each other but at some point when do you say okay we're getting old our kids are growing up you know my nieces and nephews are damn near you know grown and out of high school i got one that's out of college and got a family of her own my um, um i have a, my youngest brother he's on the west coast his girls are um high school and look see that's a shame i don't really know but eighth grade and i think the 12th grade so you know they're getting older and i really don't know them like i should and they don't know my children like they should so it's just it's just one of those things that has been bugging me especially since i'm about to have another child and you know i would really really like for this child to grow up being close with his cousins being close with his family knowing who his aunts and uncles are i just feel like there is no logical reason for everybody to be so disconnected but you know what as I scroll through Facebook and in social media I see a lot of it I see a lot of people complaining about the same things but then again I see some where you know some families are just tight real tight and they, they've always been that way and it's like you take the good with the bad and y'all you know they roll with it but in my family you don't take the good with the bad if it's not all the way good, and I mean good for them, then they'll cut you off in a New York minute. You know, so it's just, it's just bothering me. It's really bothering me, you know, because I feel like I, I don't have any real, I mean, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people, but I can't call all those people my friends. In fact, I am an introvert. 
um, people don't think that because I don't know why they don't think that, but I really am. I like I really like being by myself. I like to stay home, and if I do, you know, hang out, it's more like, girl, come on over. I'm cooking. Let's get some wine. Well, not now, but let's get some wine, drinks, whatever, and chill. That's normally how I like to hang out. I don't really like going to the clubs, you know, anything like that. I those days are over. I used to. I used to be all up in it, but not not anymore I feel like past 40 and you know you got a family at home there is no need to be out in the club so I don't do the club thing um, you know I'm just I just like to be home but you can't have everybody over at your house you know what I'm saying you can't invite all your friends over so it just I'm just feeling like you know who are my true 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 friends and I don't know why I woke up feeling like that I just do and um, you know as far as my kids my kids are 21 and 17 and they're real selfish and I mean they're don't get me wrong I love my children but it's like in their mind it's all about me it's all about me um, if I'm not doing for them if I ain't buying cars if I'm not shelling out the dough, they out the dough, you know, and it's, it's, it's a damn shame, it's a damn shame, so, you know, I'm just kind of like reflecting, reflecting on myself, trying to figure out, hmm, where did I go wrong, what did I do, what did I do, you know, because at some point, you do, you gotta, you gotta ask the hard question to yourself, if you don't have friends, if you, if your family is effed up, if your own kids act effed up most of the time, then what's the common denominator? You know, I have to look at myself, but I'm not going to look too hard because I, I understand what my kids, my kids haven't learned because they've been given everything all of their lives and they've never really had to work for anything other than, you know, chores or whatnot. You know, like my right now, my daughter, she's on a she's on a punishment because she was she caught herself having a little boyfriend, okay. And I don't believe in dating, just like my mom didn't let me date in high school. I don't believe that kids and call me old fashioned, y'all. I don't care, but I don't believe that young girls and young boys need to be sitting up in each other's faces all day without parental, you know, supervision. I just don't believe it. Do something. If y'all want to get together, do something as a group. And that's my thing. Go to Dave and Buster's. Go to the amusement park with a group of friends. Don't sit up because you're not going to come over to my house and sit up in my daughter's bedroom or on my living room couch eating up my ice cream, my goodies, and using up my cable. You're not going to do that. And I don't know your your parents. I don't know what they're about. And she's not going over there to do that on your couch, on your mama's couch. It's not happening. So, so anyway, because they think my rules are too strict, they find little ways to be together. And I found out they be together without permission. I don't know what they're doing. You know what they're doing, okay? We know what they're doing, but um, I don't condone it. So I put her on a punishment. I was like, don't ask me, don't ask me to hang out because she came in. She she asked me to hang out with this guy. They were supposed to go down, go shopping, um, you know, go hang with a group. And she didn't come in until like 11 o'clock one night. I was calling her. I was texting her. And no response she didn't initiate a call or a text and I feel like that is highly disrespectful highly highly disrespectful and I'm not signing off on letting no little boy get her pregnant pour her out use her because he's a year older than her and she's about to be a senior in high school this is not the time to be losing your head over some boy you understand what I'm saying? This is the time when you need to be 
figuring out what college you're going to, trying to get into the college, making sure your ACT, SAT scores are on point, you know what I'm saying, applying for scholarships and whatnot. I feel like, you know, and, and have your fun too, you know, you got to be balanced. There has to be balance, and I get it. I'm not saying don't have fun, don't be a child, um, don't be a regular teenage girl. All I'm saying is be balanced and be respectful about it. So anyway, I put her on a punishment. Don't ask me to go hang out. If this boy's going to be around, you can't go. In fact, for two weeks, you're not going anywhere because she came in so late and I couldn't get in contact with her. Well, now she's pissed off, walking around the house with an attitude. I mean, just like real disrespectful, nasty, but, but at the same time still needs me for food, clothes, shelter, um, traveling, rides, you know what I'm saying? Still, I still got to take her back and forth all day, every day because she, you know, hasn't um, gotten her driver's license yet and she's still, you know, a little shaky about driving. Um, but that's going to come, you know, I have a car and everything waiting for her. She just needs to learn how to drive and, and be a good driver and be responsible. Show me that she's responsible. And she's not showing me that. So, you know, we're going to hold off on passing that car over. But anyway, um, you know, just dealing with that kind of stuff, it's, it's really stressful. It's really stressful when you're dealing with ungrateful ass kids. My son is grown. He's out of the house. So I can't really say anything about him. And... What I can say is that when he was home, he never asked me for anything. You know, he just kind of did his own thing and really didn't say a whole lot. He was a lot like me, just kind of like quiet. And when it was time for him to move out the house, he moved out. As soon as he turned 18, he was gone. And that's what you do. He's doing his art thing. You know, I don't have any problems with him. But um, my daughter, mm -mm. A disrespectful hot mess but I'm not letting it get too out of hand because you're not gonna disrespect me in my in my house so anyway um, just dealing with that dealing with um, fake friends people who just want to come around you know to see what you have or don't have and then someone in the mix your relatives your siblings your mom dad my dad is good but you know, like throwing in the family dynamic when when things don't seem to be meshing and gelling, and you need them. You know, like this is a time when when I need my big sister. This is a time when I need my brother, my brother's perspective, and it just doesn't seem to be there. And it's really it's really disconcerting. It's really it's really you know disappointing to feel like, damn, I feel kind of alone. I feel alone in this. So, I don't know. I just wanted to vent a little bit, get it off my chest, and um, I guess I'm you know, just going to have to pray about it. You know? I remember this, um, when Brandy first came out, she had this, she had on her first album, she had this song called Give Me You. And I think I'm going to have to put that on because she talks about God. She just talks about God and um, God being the friend that you need in times, you know. I just, I think I'm going to have to put that on and get my life because waiting around for humans waiting around for you know people it's just not it's just not happening but anyway I don't want to vent too long because I don't want to be you know feeling down too long I don't want baby catching negative vibes so I'm about to just go and get my life girl anyway I'll talk to y'all later YouTube